why I don't think people talk about adoption is that the normal picture that's painted after a baby is born is that you go home with the child and it's kind of like a honeymoon except with the baby and after so many places they have the baby and they come home and there's none of that. It's empty. Yeah, that's probably the saddest thing it's, out of it all. It's, that is. It's empty. It's, I mean, you have the, at first it's hard. Like, it's, it's hard at first, but with, yeah. you just have to know you chose for the child and, you know, it was the best thing that you could have done. You question your self-worth. It's, yeah, you, you feel great about it. No, you don't. Oh I so okay bad. no I felt you great feel about sad. it until I actually got home. I signed my rights over on Christmas Eve, so I was a, I was a wreck. But after time went on, you know, and the the family, the well the guys, they we were constantly communicating with one another, and they let me know how she was doing and I also chose a family that was in the state so I get to see her a lot and that helped. You're still gonna mourn, you're still gonna grieve but but I see it, people don't want to talk about it because it is a touchy subject. It's almost like religion. It's either you believe in it or you don't and it, yeah but that is true that's a good point. It is a good point because people don't it's just people don't like Either you support it, or you, I mean, they no matter do. what, no matter it's like in the eyes of people, you can't do anything right. You get an abortion, you're a baby killer. You give your child up, you sold your baby. You keep the child, you're selfish, and you can't afford a baby. So it's like in the eyes of people, you really can't do anything right. At the end of the day, all you need to do is be comfortable with yourself and accept yourself, you know, for everything and that's you're happened. And to someone. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you did what was best for your child.